Alrighty, King Fight News here post fight to Chris Algieri's upset victory over Ruslan Provodnikov. This was an excellent fight as predicted. Um, you know, I got a lot right about this fight. Uh, shout out to my, my prediction video I uploaded one hour before the fight, but never mind about that. Chris Algieri, excellent movement. Um, really, you know, exposed Provodnikov to the extent. Uh, uh, to which uh, he had to get up from two knockdowns after the first round and show a ton of heart, a ton of will. And you want to talk about determination. It looked like Chris Algieri had more will to win um, towards the middle rounds. And that's so key because a lot of people, you know, have amnesia. They remember the knockdowns, but they don't remember the middle rounds. Who's winning the rounds? And um, who's landing more punches who's landing the cleaner punches uh chris algieri has a better defense in there chris algieri is moving his head um he's tucking his chin behind the shoulder and it's provodnikov going in there uh with his chin in the air um you know throwing to the body throwing to the head relentless yes but defensively um uh intelligent no no, and, and this this is where Provodnikov uh, was getting docked points for, you know, getting hit with clean jabs and right hands um, to land a couple of shots. And the judges scored it the other way. You know, the judges are not always going to score uh, the harder puncher. That's, that's what's so interesting about boxing is sometimes if you do throw more and land more, you will win even if you're the lighter puncher. Because uh, you're using skill, you, you're you're outboxing your guy, and uh, when you show that technique, and you, and when you can carry uh, your weight for most of the round, you win the round. This is exactly what happened throughout the middle of the fight. Chris Algieri came back after the knockdown. I think he won two of the next three rounds, and I think he won, or was really hanging in there. Um, towards uh, the middle of the fight going down the stretch and we even we even heard Freddie Roach say you know what it's too close it's too close Ruslan you gotta knock him out that's what he said we heard Andre Ward what did he say he said he personally thought Algeria was winning and he said he put on a clinic and it was uh, to a certain extent and um, that is truly the kryptonite to Provodnikov's boxing ability that's what gets him. It's not height. It's not reach. It's it's pure boxing skill. That's how you beat a guy like Provodnikov, and that's why, uh, that's, in a way, that's why we like him because he's the guy that overcomes boxing ability, and gets knockouts. And uh, but he's gonna take losses. You can't win like that all the time. And a guy like Algieri was uh, was really truly prepared excellent condition um and he, he 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 was in condition to go 12 and solid solid performance you know in my opinion the fight could have gone either way and I'm, I'm proud of chris algier he really held his own his eye was completely swollen in this fight you know could, could you imagine outboxing a guy without barely being able to see out of one of your eyes incredible performance uh chris algier put on a show for his fans and you gotta congratulate him and give him credit for uh, for being the winner here. It's not a robbery. This fight was not a robbery. It was a close competitive contest that could have gone either way. And I, I disagree with Steve Weisfeld. He if he wants to pick a guy that that lands three or four hard punches against a guy who, who just landed 25 clean shots, then that's just a difference of opinion. So um, I I I I can't disagree with the judges um, they had their verdict it's a solid verdict and we got to accept Chris Algeri as a new champion and you know give give credit where credit's due he came up after two knockdowns and uh, he did a heck of a job hanging in there with Ruslan and winning probably the majority of the rounds after the first round so congratulations to him let me know what you guys think how'd you see the fight you think it was a robbery let me know. Hit me up. It is what it is, guys.